So every year on this day, I like to do some sort of tribute in a way to what happened and how history changed forever, not literally but figuratively, because virtually things changed forever. And video games were affected greatly by this. I've talked about it in the past, whether we look at the Twin Towers in Grand Theft Auto 4, or how video games were changed because of this day. You can find those linked in the description. But today we've got something different, and this is tributes to this day that can be found in video games. Whether it's Spider-Man, True Crime, we're going to go through all of those today. And on this day, which I'm sure some of you guys watching were never born for, it didn't matter what race you were, what color, whatever. Everybody was reunited. And it seems like nowadays, well, it's kind of the opposite of that. So please refrain from leaving any sort of comments in this video about how I'm using this day for views or attention. That's not the case. This is literally just to bring people together to showcase the history of how this day literally changed things figuratively and literally and in the virtual world and all that stuff. So hopefully y'all enjoy and learn something new. Hey Ray, it's cool. You know, it's history. The first one that we have is in Spider-Man 2 that came out in 2004. And in the area where Ground Zero is or would be, instead you can find searchlights. And what's interesting about these searchlights is during the day they're doing nothing. But at nighttime they light up sending two light beams way up into the sky and obviously this is the location where the towers once stood so i've always thought that this was a very heartwarming tribute and if you look around the internet there's not really any videos aside from this one out there there's a reddit post from a couple years ago but i actually know this because i played this game when it first came out in 2004 and my really good buddy chase at the time actually showed me this easter egg and i thought that was really really cool and i've always thought about it and we're actually going to come back to this a little bit later on in the video. Next up, we have True Crime New York City, which came out in the year 2005. And in this game, it doesn't really feature any sort of tribute per se, but in the area where Ground Zero once stood is now just kind of a fenced off construction site, which is kind of true to real life because at the time and in 2005, that's pretty much what was going on there because that was only four years after the events of that day. But it's still pretty interesting to see these game developers instead of like omitting this spot completely actually keep it kind of true to real life and I mean it's in the name of this game true crime New York City I also ran short on time when creating this video so the gameplay you see in the background isn't actually mine you can find that user down below in the description but that's the reason the quality is not as good Next up, we have a game called Tycoon City, New York, which came out in 2006. And this honestly is a really, really cool tribute to Ground Zero, the towers, and what happened on that day and that spot and everything. So it takes place in New York City, obviously. And if you go to the spot where Ground Zero would be or where the towers once stood, we instead can find two very tall trees side by side in front of a pentagon shaped base with an American flag at half mast and inscribed on this pentagon base says the words or the phrase we will never forget and honestly I think this is probably my favorite one outside of the Spider-Man tribute because well I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in a video game and I think that whoever decided to do this I think that was really really cool it's in a location called Memorial Park and you can see this bridge I'm not familiar with my New York City bridges I want to say that this would be maybe the Brooklyn Bridge but in the background we can also see on the other side and from a different perspective the Statue of Liberty so it's just a very beautifully placed monument and memorial in this game dedicated to the towers, ground zero, and what happened on that day and everybody that lost their lives. Next up, we have Driver Parallel Lines, which also came out in 2006. And if you haven't noticed, it seems like from 2004 to 2006 is the only time that these tributes really took place. Because since then, I'm not familiar with any other tribute to what happened that day. Uh, in any other game. Grand Theft Auto 4, for instance, you know, we've modded in the towers, but Rockstar just completely omitted that area from GTA 4, which takes place in Liberty City, for instance. And my guess is because Grand Theft Auto is associated with so much crime that Rockstar, opposed to any other game developer, would probably face a little more backlash than most developers. So Driver Parallel Lines in 2006 actually takes place in two different time periods. 1978, I I believe 
and in, and in 2006. And in 1978, we can actually see the towers in their glory and dominating the New York City skyline. I think this is really, really cool. It features just this modified World Trade Center complex. Uh, it's a little bit different. There's actually a road that divides the two where the spear statue would have been. But in 2006, when the game flashes forward in time, instead of the buildings being there, they are, they're no longer there. It's very true to real life, and instead, it's just a fenced-off construction site, much like true crime New York City. So that's pretty interesting there, but it's also pretty cool to see how the game developers did that. So while that one isn't a tribute, the last one that we actually do have for this video is from Spider-Man, the 2018 game. So basically, I say this is a tribute. I remember when this game came out literally around this time two years ago. I was playing it, found this, thought it was an Easter egg, but it turns out it's actually not. It's a error in the game with some of the reflections. So when climbing one one of the buildings you can actually see two very tall structures in the reflection of the building that you're climbing that eerily resemble the twin towers but what also makes it even more interesting is when you get to the top of that building and you get to the roof the building right in front of you is the brand new world trade center that's true to form true to real life and everybody at the time thought that this was a really cool tribute to the twin towers being that you've got the new building here but in the reflections you've got the old buildings but the developers came out and kind of rained on our parade by saying that that's not the case this was unintentional and it was never meant to be like that so what i think is very interesting is that out of all the buildings in the game that would feature this bug, when you get to the top of it, the brand new World Trade Center is right there. So going back to the very first ever Spider-Man 2 Easter egg with their uh, tribute to the World Trade Center, I think that we can just say, you know what, maybe this is just something associated with the Spider-Man games and just pretend that this is an actual tribute because I think that's pretty touching and heartwarming. Anyways, though, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, found it informative and interesting. This is a day that I feel like a lot of you guys watching might not have even been born for. You might not have even been born in the year that some of these games we talked about came out, but I was and I've been around for all that. So I like to use this channel at times to spread knowledge because that day changed not only the lives of people like in real life, but virtually we saw games changed because of it. And I've covered that in previous videos, but also so we've now seen tributes to this day in video games, which I think is very, very interesting. And like I said, I hope y'all just learned something new. If that's the case, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I love Easter egg secrets and things like that in video games. So hopefully y'all want to stick around for more. But until next time, I'm Zach Cox. Thank y'all for tuning in and I'll catch you on the flip side.